You can maybe let a little of the Jersey show, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, man, I mean, 2-0, two, oh, two bonuses. I mean, is there any party that's like kind of waiting to wake up from a dream or something that all this is happening to you? Uh, shit, I hope this dream continues, man. Like, I, don't, I don't want to end yet. <laughs> we, we know it took you a long time to get here, right? But I, I do wonder, I mean, does the experience that you gained along the way, do you think that's been beneficial to your quick start in the UFC? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, with like the long road, it, it don't feel like a quick start. It feels like like, like it took a long time to get here. <laughs> you know, like the overnight success shit, it happened, whatever. It, it took you years for that. Yeah. That's kind of how it feels like. Still, though, right? It's crazy. Like, I mean, it was a year ago you were on the contenders, right? Now from right. contenders to co-main in the course of 12 months. I mean, that's right. that's a pretty wild ride, right? Right. right. Hey, I mean, I, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> right I'm enjoying now. it. Match up here, Gregory Rodriguez, another uh, very dangerous guy, it would seem. I guess, what did you think when this was the, the matchup they gave to you? Uh, I kind of figured it would happen eventually. We're both off the contender series. He, he's, he won a few fights. I'm winning a few fights, so I figured it was going to happen eventually. Yeah. But um, uh, I like the matchup. I like it a lot. It's, it's a big test for me. He, he's a real good jiu-jitsu guy, all that shit, so it's like... <laughs> everything that I was bad at before. So it's it's a new test for me to show how hard I've been working. I like that you say bad at before, right? So you admit <laughs> like maybe there were some shortcomings, but you think anybody that still evaluates you that way is is making a big mistake? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess I haven't really been able to show enough to where they wouldn't look at it that way. But uh, hey, don't play with me, man, like, I, I got some. <laughs> we were kind of talking about this fight and it would seem that Gregory would probably want to turn to that grinding, but He's also shown a propensity to kind of want to stand and bang sometimes, right? But do you think he'd be willing to do that against you, or do you think he's going to realize that's a, that's a mistake? I mean, most people say they're going to stand and bang, but you know how that turns out. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Most jujitsu guys tend to do that, right? Like, they get a couple of knockouts, and now they just want to <laughs> just punch everybody in the face. So uh, we'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see. It'll be, a, I guess, a better night for me if he does decide to stand. But um, we'll see. Nice. Well, I know it's a big opportunity for you, and I guess last thing for me, I mean, you keep this streak going. Do you want to keep staying busy? Like you said, keep this dream going, keep it rolling, or do you, do you like, would you like a little time off, maybe enjoy the holidays or something, or is it just like, let's just keep booking me as fast as possible? Yeah, I mean, I like, I like the longer training camps, but uh, I honestly don't give a, give a shit about holidays. So <laughs> I'm, I'm down to fight whenever. Hey, Chitty. What up, what up? Um, I think people forgot that you almost submitted Dusko in your last fight. So, <laughs> um, I mean, are you kind of welcoming Gregory to come down and, and, and grapple if, if need be? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not stupid. Like, I, I understand what he's good at. So I'm not going to be on the ground talking about coming to my guard and shit, you know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> if it goes there, I'm not going to panic, you know. Like, I'm comfortable on the ground, and, and I understand where I'm at now. So I don't, I don't mind fighting wherever. Um, I mean, yeah, a, a year ago you were on the contender series. Did you did you even think that like a year later you'd be in the co-man event, or was that just kind of all all part of the plan? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. I sabotaged Gigi and <laughs> made him pull out. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, um, it's crazy. I mean, I'm thankful for it. Uh, you know, I, I've been in main events and co-main events back when I was in the other shows, so. It's, the difference is that this is UFC, you know, like it's a big difference, but it's like, I'm here, I'm ready for it, I'm, I'm welcoming all this shit. I mean, how many more wins you gotta get to get to get in front of a crowd? I mean, are, are, right, you, are, right, are you hoping this right. is gonna be your last Apex show, or is, right. or, do you, or do you feel comfortable here? I'm comfortable here, I, I, live, I live right down the street from here, I just, like, live maybe five minutes away from here. So I can just roll out of bed and come up to the Apex. Like, it's not a problem, but I do enjoy the crowd, and and having my people there cheering for me and stuff. So, And finally, for me, I just wanted your thoughts on Israel Adesanya versus Alex Pereira. They're going down UFC 281. I just wanted your thoughts on that fight. Um, I'm tuning in. Right? <laughs> Besides the fact that I, that it would be dope to fight both of them, I, I'm, I'm a fan of the sport. So so I'm, I'm excited to see how this third fight turns out.
do you think Israel gets his revenge, or do you think? Uh... I don't know. I'm hoping Israel goes out for a double leg or something, right? <laughs> That'll be cold as hell, but we'll see. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.